guys it's Mary again welcome back to my channel and today I've got an uh, IKEA haul for you so uh, after the lockdown I went to IKEA the experience was bad so for the first time I know it's different the rules around um, social distancing but heads up my goodness I was in the queue for over one hour I was I was thinking to myself, okay, I need to go, I need to turn around and go home. But I was thinking, it's like a half an hour from here, so it's almost twenty miles, and I went all the way down there. I, I just could not turn around and go back. So and it, on that day, it was raining, it was windy, it was slightly cold, but I was well dressed. I was wearing my trainers. So but. In what, over an hour in the queue I'm thinking when I got down there it was around 1 o'clock 1 30 and I think that before I got there the queue was the queue wasn't that bad but for some reason the queue got stuck I don't know whatever system they're using so best not to go on a Saturday best to come in super early so don't come around lunch time one o'clock and all that because over one hour in the queue oh my goodness my legs were hurting and by the time i got out it was around five something almost six o'clock so when i got in the store i was so exhausted i wanted to do like a come and shop with me in ikea after lockdown but i was like i did not have the effort or the energy to take out a camera and start doing a come and shop with me but the store itself was slightly empty so i don't know if their system is working obviously there was not a lot of people at the same time but trust me if you go at the wrong time on the weekend or friday you're gonna face it so you have to make sure that if it's worth you going down there than shopping online yeah that is it really i can say so let me start this whole off so I go. Uh, I'll start off with the small bits. I got these plates. No, they are bowls actually. <laughs> I thought they were plates. I wasn't sure what they were, but my idea behind this is like for soup. I guess you can use it for serving. And then when we have rice, my kids they kind of struggle. They need that kind of. Maybe it's a bit too big, but it was one pound something. So I got five of these. Yeah. We've used some already, so I went there last week, but guys, yeah. And I got those bowls, and then I got some cups. There was a lot of cups in there. You know, in the um, market market hall, is it market hall? So I got one of these cups, very cheap, but the quality they are heavy, like weight wise so you know it's, it's good quality so this one was one pound 70p for one cup so i got four of oh my goodness almost the thing fell down this i got four of these yeah i'm trying to um change up my cups i've had them for donkey years but i'm kind of a person who likes big cups so this is average like for guests and you know maybe the kids or something and the hubby but i prefer to use like a big cup like maybe double this size or three times this size yeah so anyway i got four of those let me move on chop chop then i got one of these this is just a paper thing i got one of these so my idea behind this i'm gonna try and organize the cabinets the food so this is for what was the idea behind it? For flour yeah flour so I've got two of those here's the second one and it's got the other cups in so these I should have got my receipt isn't it to get an idea they were, they were not that bad I think they were four pound four or five pound each these so it's to organize my idea behind this is to get good quality like a uh, glass kind of wear so even if when I get my new kitchen, as I'm already saying, I can use it in my new pantry. That is the idea. So I don't need to change it. So I bought covers for those. So here are the covers that I got. You know, I've not opened this, but I'm hoping this 
it's gonna fit perfectly you know as i say it was not the best experience because by the time i got in the store my feet was aching and all sorts you know and those covers they were two pound each then i go a runner this runner let me check the price guys i couldn't find my receipt but i got this this was less than five pound so it's a runner so i wanted something neutral but when i saw the neutral ones they were a bit boring so i thought why not have something like that with neutral whites grays you know a little bit tinge of dark gray can you see this is superb so i'm thinking long term when we do up the seating area yes love Let So the next item was one of these. I wanted one of these. You know when they contain the covers they go missing and then they're useless, you can't use them. So the idea was um, for me to get more of these, but I did I did not manage to. I wanted to use the glass ones where the, the cover is plastic and then the, the other bit is glass. But I thought they were pricey. They were so they sell the covers separately and then the glass separately. So uh, the container and the cover roughly they were about four pounds, which I thought mm, nah, for another day. So I got this for ninety nine p one pound, something like that. Then my smallest boys, I want them to stop using plastic spoons and plates. So I go some cheap and cheerful spoons and forks i usually go for things like this i usually prefer to spend a little bit more money because you have guests you know so i usually get them a bit pricier but i thought it's for the kids i was like huh, whatever ikea will do so these were i should have had my receipt i think these were like two pound each or three pound each so you can't go wrong. Then I got some table mats. This type of table mats. Can you see the idea behind my table mats and the runner? Perfect. Yeah. Yeah. Can you see how it's going to look good when we do have guests? Of course, if we don't have guests, probably just end up using the table mats. I've not had table mats for such a long time, and these ones they were nice and cheap. One pound fifty each. They're really nice and they're cheap. You know, easy to wipe. You know, when you've got kids, those are the type of things you go for. And the next item I got for my care. I'm thinking because I've got I've scattered things all over the place. Yeah, so the next items I've got are already upstairs. We put them up, so I'll show you those. So this is the gallery wall so far in the master bedroom. So this big print is from IKEA as well. Is um, it was fifteen ninety nine so i need another one on top i think but i want it in like a landscape shape to go on top of that with some type of pink in it so yeah i'm searching for that um this is a reading table that i got for the kids it's quite nice i was looking for something small so those are it's like navy with a that design on top white legs this was about 35 pounds i thought it was really cheap and good price and then one of these i'm gonna be using one of these i needed for the laptop when i'm working from home to make work easy this was about three pounds the big one then I got these colorful boxes 
they were on a sale actually so that one uh, they've got cover on top two of those and then a small version that one and the, well, that one was one pound fifty two pound fifty each so the idea is for the boys to put in their homework every everybody has got their own box to put in their work so this is gonna soon become kind of like a study area for them yeah they are ridiculously long you know these ceilings i think they are quite high our ceilings but can you see how long these curtains are at the bottom so this is again for the boys bedroom i just couldn't find any curtains for that type of uh, what is it cutting hanger rail curtains for reasonably priced for the kids so i thought these will do you know for the kids and these are the blinds so the blinds are the is it blackout blinds so the stick on these were five pound 50p each so we've got two in our bedroom the master bedroom and one in the boys bedroom for blackout for summer so these cut their curtains i forgot to tell you they were um i think about 12 or 13 pounds they were quite cheap this is another print i got from ikea well it's not a print is it a frame yeah <laughs> yeah this i got in the bargain corner for five pounds something yeah something like that five pounds so i'm planning to put a print in this one so not sure boys so next we are moving on to home sense i forgot to introduce because this video is home sense and ikea i went to lakeside so whenever i go to lakeside i always go to home sense obviously there's so many stores down there so i can um do what i can go to home sense so what i got from home sense was this um apron the quality is superb guys this apron can you see really really thick really thick can you see the details yeah was it on sale no it wasn't oh yeah well home sense prices i guess they're on sale <laughs> but this was only eight pounds very thick like kind of a jean jeans material that thickness so this will last me for donkey years so that was 7.99 but you know when i got to home sense it's like somebody read in the shop basically i did not even realize that they had opened up so there was a small queue i was like oh just turn the car around i had to go in there and look quickly but when i got there most of the aisles were empty almost half empty as a my chance and my luck you get me going that far and oh you know so the next item i got from there was these baskets i'm trying to separate them these so again i'm on a journey of organizing reorganizing my kitchen putting bits and bobs in place you know so I thought this color, you can't go wrong, something neutral. You know, I'm, I'm intending to keep it for as long as I can, basically. So one of these was five pounds. So two for tenner, so you can't go wrong. And then I wanted, initially, I wanted um, this type. But these guys, they're pricey. So I needed four of these. So I thought, why not break it up? With the plastic the other one the white and the cream basically like i will do put them on the sh on the um those um these shelf thingies i go on facebook marketplace facebook so that's where i'm gonna put them i'm putting all the bits that don't have nowhere to go my cupboards or oh, my cabinets are overflowing so i got this and this one was 10 pound actually this was cheaper than in ikea the ones i wanted 
three things about it actually but this was the only last one that i saw there can you see when i say the store was almost empty you know because i could have bought three of these this is quite nice for 10 pounds guys you get me yeah so that is it and then the next item i was looking for knife <laughs> i got one in home since i've already opened it up yeah that is it got it it's really nice you know this was uh 4.99 no 3.99 i've got the tag here 3.99 it's so sharp my goodness I wanted something small like that then I got another item from home sense this I've been trying to look for something like so kind of like a tray but I saw this in home sense I was like yeah this is gonna work well so my right. idea is to put it in the bedroom on like on top of the cabinet and put on my perfumes on there lord it's so heavy let's sit my perfumes and display them on here how lovely is that guys yeah can you see oh i was so happy and it was only five pounds I was like, boy i need a butterfly <laughs> five pound for that so now i can and it's neutral because i've got quite a lot of colors in the master bedroom so i didn't want to go wild if I can't find a brass, I thought I'll go for this one. This can go with anything, really. Yeah, this was, oh, this is exciting. This and the other item upstairs, those that, oh, was like, and the basket as well. Yeah, yeah, everything basically. So the other item from Home Sense is upstairs, and I'll show you that one as well. So this again, it was from say, Home Sense. Home Sense? Yeah, Home Sense. For. $15.99 half price from £32 or £32.99 so that was a good bargain so I'm trying to start doing prints for all the boys bedrooms so one on that side and one on that side yeah I think that's gonna work out well so guys that is the end of this haul for ikea and home sense and i hope that you enjoyed it as i said guys the stores not all the stores we are open in lakeside only a few i didn't count costco and all that of course costco is, uh, is a food shop so it was open for a lock up lockdown but yeah you can go and check it out but as i said and home sense the queue was small i don't know because i went down there up, like about after five maybe that's why the store was like empty like people got excited that it was open up again so yeah do check those out but be mindful about ikea queues that wasn't pretty thank you guys for tuning in and i'll see you in my next video take care bye bye